They're getting back to normal in Chesterfield County after five firefighters were hurt in a fire over the weekend. The fire chief and his son are at a burn center in Charleston, but we're told they are in good spirits despite what happened. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger is live tonight in Chesterfield County. Yeah, and Derek, you spoke with one of the fire departments that responded to this fire, and they say two explosions actually happened there. Yes, and both happened in quick succession and apparently happened as a result of some of the lingering parts of that fire coming into contact with open air. Now, we're told many of the men that were involved here, they wanted to get back out and, and finish the job, despite some of them having first and second degree burns. Saturday night, Chesterfield County firefighters had what they say is a visit they have to make every now and then to this facility off Sims Road in Pageland. Circle S's wood shavings being wood occasionally burn. Firefighters arrived to help put that fire out. We do go out there a couple times a year because different things happen. Power failures, different things. Bill Bussey is the fire chief of High Point Volunteer Fire Department, one of two that responded Saturday. The other, Sand Hill Volunteer Fire. They were all in the middle of that blaze when Bussey says something happened. We had a man on a ladder with a pike pole pulling out the shavings and we we're spraying water on it and uh, we heard an explosion and we tell him get down. So he went about two steps down the ladder and this fire, big fall, fireball came down engulfed about six of us. Bussy is in good spirits now for a couple of reasons. Telling what happened is a way of processing it, but also the men involved and injured all made it out. Five people total were injured, two of whom a fire chief at Sand Hill and his son, also a firefighter. They are in Charleston right now receiving treatment. You see weird things. Stuff happens. Things go wrong. And that's what happened there. Um, nobody did anything wrong. Nobody It's not an equipment failure. It just sometimes enough pieces come together and you know things happen like that. There is a full realization among everyone that things could have been worse. We're told everyone involved will make a full recovery. In fact, Bussy says all the injured had some initial treatment on scene and all wanted to go back out and fight the fire once they were assessed. He says they will get that chance in the future. These guys are both very independent and very loyal and very committed to what they do. Now, we should mention that the uh, fire chief at Sand Hill Volunteer Fire Department, as well as his son, the ones that were injured, again, they are still down in Charleston right now. We did make a point of reaching out to them to see if they had anything to say, but so far we have not heard back. However, a family member has posted on social media, and they say that they appreciate all the thoughts, prayers, and calls, and that the two are getting some rest. Live in Chesterfield County, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.